Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. Today we are going to do another great Easter cake pop idea. And I um, also did this one a couple years ago and wanted to share with you. And it's so simple and so fun and you can get your kids involved. So basically all you're going to need is some cake balls that are pre-made. Um, some lollipop sticks, your decorating tools, and then your colored chocolates. And I'm just going to use white and pink today. And this is actually just white chocolate chips that I colored pink with a food gel. So I liked that pink better. Uh, and then some assorted sprinkles, some disco dust, some coconut, and you can decorate these how you want to. Now all I did was when I shaped my cake balls, I tried to shape them kind of in the egg form. And I did this after I had made cake balls, frozen them, I took them out and defrosted them a little bit, and then I started shaping. So just get kind of that egg shape, I just kind of move it around and then you've got them ready. So I'm going to dip my stick and put it in the bottom of each egg. Let that set up a little bit, give it some support. So go ahead and stick that in the bottom of each egg. Now you don't have to make these into pops if you don't want to. Again, you can just make them into cake balls and put them in cupcake liners. All right, we're gonna do another one. And these are just really great. I have a bunch of orders for these um, coming up on uh, this weekend before Easter for the chicks and the eggs and then my marshmallow pops as well. So go ahead and check all those out. Okay, so basically what you do is you put those in there, you let those set up, and then they set up fairly quickly. And that's just, again, like I said, for a little bit of extra support. I'm going to go ahead and start dipping. Go ahead and dip each egg into the color that you choose, just like if you're decorating an Easter egg. You want to shake off any of that excess chocolate because you don't want it to... And you want to cover the cake pop, but you don't want to overdo the chocolate. So I always try to shake that excess off a little bit. Try not to scrape too much because then it shows the cake, but sometimes you have to scrape a little bit. All right, and then set that down. We're going to do another one. I'm going to do three total for you. And actually what I'm going to do is while these are wet, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating. Now this one's the wettest, so I'm going to go ahead, because the other one I messed up and kind of let it go. I have some little circle dots, and I'm going to kind of just put those on there, just like so, and just make like a polka dot effect on this egg. And these are actually just the shakers that you buy uh, at the craft store, or, you know, I get mine like I've told you a million times at Ross. And you just want to stick those in there while you can, while it's wet. Try not to mess it up like I did up there, but you get the idea. And it just makes it kind of fun. And then I'll probably shimmer this one up a little bit as well to kind of hide some of the flaws that are in it. Okay. Now with my other one, I didn't decorate quickly. So I'm actually going to just take that one and I'm going to put straight disco dust on it. And you can usually find these online or in a cake store if you have one in your area. Might as well throw a few little sprinkles on this one. All right, so go ahead and do that. And then what I want to do is I think for this one I'm going to dip it in the pink, but I have some white sugar crystals. And I'm going to go ahead and just dip. With these you have to... You have to, uh, I had to change up my game for getting that on my first dip, but you have to decorate them right away as you dip them, and then that way the chocolate sticks. So this one, I'm going to go half with the white crystals. Hopefully you can see me doing this. Let me pull this over a little bit. Half with the white crystals, and I think I'll do half with some purple crystals. Whoop, and then my sprinkles are coming out at the same time. So we're going to have some sprinkles on the top too. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, these are really fun to do. Stick that on there. Might as well stick them on there since they came out. And they're actually already set up. That's how fast they set up. So let me show you. So you just dip them and then you decorate. 
and you let them completely set up. So I will probably let these sit here for about 10 minutes and be completely set up before I put them in cellophane, but I'm gonna kind of show you here. See if, uh, yeah, that one's set up. So that one's just decorated with some glitter. Very simple, basic, easy one. They don't have to be too, too crazy. Uh, you can kind of, once they dry, if you want to sponge paint them with some different chocolate and a paintbrush, you can do that. If you want to draw a design on them, um, I have a paintbrush right here. So let's say maybe you wanted to draw, I'm not an artist by any means. So what I'm going to do with this one is how about if I just draw, uh, I'm going to draw a big flower in the center. That's about as good as I get. <laughs> All right, so, and I'm gonna do it with dots. So we'll go ahead and with chocolate, I'm just kind of going and painting little petals here. Just making it kind of fun. And I know it looks kind of retarded because I'm not, like I said, I'm not an artist, but some of you out there can paint. And if you can paint, I envy you. Cause that's not me but I'm trying, kind of getting that flower form in there and I just kind of play till I can do it and then maybe take uh, a sugar bead you can use any color you want how about if I use green I have these cute little sugar beads put it in the center and I need to get a toothpick because this is the great thing about chocolate. If you make a boo-boo once it dries, so see how I did that? You can kind of take a toothpick or something sharp and you can just kind of scrape it on there. Whoop, I'm not showing you. I'll show you on this one. So I have like a little extra line here. I kind of go in and you can scrape the excess off. And that far looks retarded. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of try to dress it up a little bit more. And you can use a toothpick to paint as well. Sometimes you have a little bit more control with a toothpick. You can see I can get like the circles better because on the paintbrush, sometimes the chocolate will clump up. Oh, I'm not in the camera. Sorry. Okay, so you kind of go like that. Oh, see, that looks better already. We're kind of giving our flower a little bit more shape so it doesn't look like it's a retarded flower. Looks much better already. Connect our petals a little bit more. There you go, see, much cuter. I think I like the toothpick idea better. I've always had better luck with a toothpick. So go along. This one I got a little bit crazy on. You want to make it really easy on yourself buy the Easter little sugar things and put those right on top that makes it super easy and really cute but anyway you get the idea I painted that one on and again if you want to add a little bit more dust oh I always do that if you want to add a little bit more dust you can to make that flower shiny if I can get some on there there we go I put a little glitter on all of them. I like a little shimmer now. It doesn't have to be heavy, but just enough that it gives it a little shimmer in the sunlight. Like that. Okay. So here are our cute little cake pops. And then you can wrap these in cellophane with some ribbon, some Easter ribbon. So I'm going to do that. As you can see, it took way less than I thought less than 10 minutes to set up when it's white chocolate it sets up very quickly now if you were to dip these in dark chocolate or regular chocolate it would take a little bit longer so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put these in some cellophane and i'm going to show you what they look like when they're all done and ready to be uh, sold or handed out or you know displayed so we'll be back in just a minute okay so i have them all wrapped in cellophane with the ribbon and they're ready to go it took me just a couple minutes to do that but i wanted to show you what they look like they really stand out when they've got a really cute ribbon uh, easter ribbon and i actually get these ribbons at the dollar store so they're very inexpensive and you can see what they look like and how fun they are and how fun kids would have with them and they're just delicious little cake pops 
I actually made a display yesterday at the shop that I got all at the dollar store. I got um, a really cute clay pot that's white, uh, one piece of styrofoam, and um, some Easter grass. So it cost me $3 to make a display. And I have all these cake pops at work standing outside so it looks like a bouquet of of cake pops. So these are going to be added to that bouquet today. And um, this is what they look like. So they're really fun and I hope you have fun with it. If you have any questions or you need any ideas, please PM me. Um, that way I can answer it better when I check uh, my messages. And um, let me know if you have any questions or anything and I'd, I'd be happy to answer them for you. And I hope you get a chance to make these. I hope you give me a thumbs up. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Uh, share these on your Facebook page with your family and your friends. And go to my Facebook page, Just for Sweets, and, jo and join that page. And then also my group page recipe book. And until next time, next video, have a wonderful day, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Easter, and God bless.